Hey guys, Kashaira here. I am super excited to be here with the walkthrough of the Louis Vuitton MM agenda and how I've decorated it for the month of September. If you haven't seen any of my previous planner videos, I've been doing a lot of hauls of stuff that I've bought and bought for this little guy and also for my bigger A5 size planner. And don't worry, I am gonna flip the camera down where all you will see is all that is inside of here. But wanted to give you a couple of quick uh, notes. So if you are new to the planner world, this is the Louis Vuitton MM sized agenda which is equivalent to the personal sized agenda. So you can find agendas of this size literally everywhere. This is the personal size. The next size up is the half letter, AKA the A5 size. There's also a planner that is smaller than it. So people tend to use as a wallet. So I can't remember the size name of that one, but either way, that's the sizing of this and that's the sizing for all of the inserts in the dashboards if you have this planner or something similar. This planner is fully decorated by small businesses, so most of the businesses are on Etsy uh, with the exception of cloth and paper and Notique, so that is what you are going to find on the inside. Um, I, as I was editing, I do know that for, I think, the recipe card insert, I gave you all the wrong shop name in the video. The right shop will be linked in the description box. Also for there's a brain dumping insert, the shop will be listed in the description box. So just check the description box. While I can't link all of the individual products because it's just too many y'all, I ordered so much stuff. I will at least tell you in like parentheses what I got from which shop. So if you want to get what I got or you want to do like I did and spend your whole check over on Etsy, you are more than welcome. So if you have any questions as I am going through, leave them down below, subscribe to this channel Okay, like this video and I'll talk to you soon. Enjoy. Okay. So I just want to clarify that this little towel, this is actually a kitchen towel that I've never used. I put it underneath the planner because my desk is actually like mirrored glass. So I'll like show you a little bit. So I didn't want you all to get super distracted <laughs> with everything in the mirror. So anyway, bear with me. This is my first little like hands only planner video. Oh my God. Okay. Anyway. So anyway, so here is the top of the planner what it looks like. It's not super stuffed just yet. Again, I am new to this, so I'm trying to get it together. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. So the very first thing that we have going on here is some little decor over here on the left-hand side. I am obsessed with these cute little pens and inserts. And so all of these are from small businesses. So just to quickly go through, bear with me as I gather my notes. So this pen, this pen, they are like on like gold paper clips, hold on, like that. These are from the shop Little Miss Daisy Rose on Etsy. I'll make sure to have the Etsy shop links in the description box. These like vinyl uh, ones, this one, which is a cup of coffee within a clock, that was so cute. And then this one is a young lady <laughs> still in the bed, which is me. They have pins on the back. They are big enough to just go ahead and fit into the card slots. Um, oh, shoot. Let me go ahead and put her back the way she came out. Okay, there we go. So I just thought that that was so cute. Um, so you can tell that my theme is like coffee and mornings. This cute little pen says just breathe. This one says plan. Um, oh, I just realized I didn't tell you where these came from. So these came from the Etsy shop, Pink Amono Papers. She also has a website, pinkamonopapers.com. I'll have that link down below. I'm gonna do a whole separate Etsy haul video because I ordered so much stuff from her and I have more stuff from Daisy, Little Miss Daisy Rose, so I'll show you that. So this cute little bow pen came from Sugar and Ivy on Etsy. They also have their own website, sugarivy.com. I ordered a bunch of holiday themed pens from them and this is the only holiday one I, I think, no, there's two, one, two that I ordered from them that is non-holiday. I don't know why I'm stumbling over my words, but I thought this was so adorable and it is so my aesthetic. So that's that. Then we're going to get into the meat and potatoes. So I love these little pens. I typically get, uh, people give these to me as gifts all the time. But this one was from a friend's event. It says a queen with purpose on it. So I decided to go ahead and put that in my planner. Then we have this first little like uh, bookmark journaling tab. This is from Cloth and Paper. And it's their morning mindset um, 
bookmark and so it has questions on here that you can journal through or meditate through what is the big picture for today what am i looking forward to seeing what project will i work on etc then i have my first dashboard of the planner all of my dashboards that are in here except for one are from clever planner over on etsy i will link that down below one of my dashboards is from cloth and paper but i'll tell you all that one later so anyway i just love this image and then here I actually have an affirmation card from No Notique. They have a box of 30 affirmation cards and they're super cute and portable. So I have the affirmation that I am, I am leveraging for this month of September. And I do plan to decorate and customize my planner every month, which is part of the reason why it's not so thick. I didn't have to put a ton in here. Then I have my monthly inserts. This is also, these inserts are also from Clever Planner. She has different versions with different pictures on it. And then I put these stickers on it. So basically I'll open up and she gives you a monthly view with the same person in the background. Um, excuse my really horrible handwriting. It's kind of embarrassing, but whatever. I put a ton of stickers on here and just kind of called out some of the big things I had going on this month that required me to really prepare in advance for them. I'm not using this space to document client meetings and all of the day-to-day -day of my business because obviously it's way too small. So I just wanted to call out some of the big things that I had going on. And then in between each month, you get like this really cute note taking space or the space that you can also decorate. So I did at least put the full year in here for these because they're just like regular, you know, months. They don't take up a ton of space. So, so then from there, the next section is like a daily plans section inserts are from the brand Deer Planner or the brand of the shop Deer Planner on Etsy. These are daily plans and the series. I've just kind of started to decorate decorate them a little bit with some different stickers from a ton of different sticker books. But I liked these inserts because they're not dated. So you have the option of writing in today's date. They're not timed. Like I, in theory, I like hourly um, line planners, but in real life, I just need a lot of free space. So I really love this template where you can put the date, you can circle the day of the week. There's a ton of free writing space, there's to-do list space. There's a lot that you can do with this. So if you don't plan in this planner for a day or two, like you don't have to throw inserts away. You can just use what you did, you know, use them. So then here's another insert. I just love this so, so, so much. Y'all know I love my short blonde hair, so I just had to have this. So then after this really cute dashboard, then we have the to-do list template. This is also from Clever Planner over on Etsy. Again, she had them in different designs, but it was really important to me to have a, just a dedicated to-do list section in this planner because I operate fully on to-do list. And oftentimes my to-do list can run over a couple of days. So that's why I decided to add this in addition to the daily planner so then from there we have another dashboard and this dashboard is a really cute uh, like a little charm I want to take it off for a second so I can really show you it's like a golden uh, leaf and this also came from sugar and ivy so super cute and so I actually use it to clip in this really cute card that I'm pretty sure came with an, a cloth and paper order I can't remember if it was cloth and paper or no teak I'm just gonna assume that it was cloth and paper so I really like this quote so I just use this paper clip to hold this quote up and then this dangles out so then from there, I have some gold brief inserts from Notique, and these are really, really cute. I love the color of the paper. I love the layout, but you can actually leverage this to track your progress on different goals. I definitely plan to use this on some of my longer term goals and also just tracking, especially for my six month to one year out goals. This is definitely what I'm going to use for that. So with that, then the next section is my project brief section. This is also from Notique. And I ordered these just to test them out and see what I thought. If I really like them, I'm going to go ahead and get them in a bigger size. If you've been watching my planner videos, I mentioned that I plan to use my bigger A5 size planner. For business in particular, I already have inserts for bits for um, podcast planning, YouTube planning, and a couple other things. So I'm debating if I want to um, keep my project briefs in here or put them in there. I already have some project planning templates in there from Michaels, but just kind of playing around with which project planning templates do I like the best or do I just want to make my own. So anyway, these are from Notique. 
one of the things already that kind of throws me off is that it just says like project name due date status and completed but it's like they want you to write in 15 different projects whereas I would have liked this a little bit better if it was like you had a space to write the project name at the top and then you can write then instead of project name here it would say task and that way it's like one sheet per project and you can write the task out now obviously I can just do my own thing and not really follow this but that's just one thing that like super side note otherwise still really cute still adorable so then from there oh on the back you have like some note taking space there as well so then in the next section we have some recipe cards i printed these from a shop on etsy if you are interested in printing your own inserts let me find her shop i have like my cell phone up um, to tell you her shop name because she has stuff that is super affordable it's called printable for planners so one thing off the bat I can tell you is that I'm really trying to get my cutting game together with using this big paper cutter so my cutting is a little off but I'm making it work um, so I have my recipe cards in here that I plan to use when I am doing different recipes that I want to try from Pinterest. Um, I saw some some I saw a couple people on YouTube doing like recipe planners and stuff like that, and I thought that the concept was really cool. So I wanted to do that here in this planner as well. And like, let's be honest, I don't cook every day, probably like once or twice a week. So this is something that's gonna take me a while to get through anyway. So I have another clever planner dashboard, and then we have a meal tracker. This one is also from the other the same company as the daily inserts i keep forgetting the name dear planner i keep wanting to say planner press and that's not it it's dear planner so this is a meal tracker where you can write in breakfast lunch and dinner and the reason why i wanted a meal tracker is because you know this is really weird to say but sometimes i forget to eat dinner okay <laughs> or there's some days where i'll eat dinner but i'll eat it really late and i skip lunch i'm just trying to get better with just having a more healthy life so i have a meal tracker in here it's super simple and then i have a dashboard that i made i showed you guys this in my last uh planner stuff haul and then i have a grocery list this insert is from clever planner over on etsy and i wanted to go ahead and put this in here because this planner is super portable the last since i've owned it it's always been in my purse and so one thing that i'm guilty of is forgetting my grocery list because i have like a little notepad on my refrigerator so I figured by having a grocery list insert in here, it'll help me when I do make my quick like Target runs and grocery store runs to make sure that I'm documenting everything that I need to get. So she has on here a fresh food section and then like on the back of it, a frozen food section, household item section, and an other section. So it's a really robust uh, insert. So having it obviously next to like the meal, the meal tracker and the recipe planner is just, you know, obviously really smart, so another dashboard yeah I, i'm sure y'all could tell that i love dashboards so then we have in here a fitness tracker this is also from dear planner where you can write in your activity your distance the time sets reps weights i really like that she put distance in here because you all know i have a peloton and so when you finish your workouts peloton does tell you tell you how many miles you biked so i really want to be better about tracking that because i'm always really proud of myself when i do finish a workout so i do want to start documenting that here in this section and I believe this is the last Clever Planner insert. From here, I have just like a brain dump note-taking section. This is something that I printed off of um, Etsy. This is from the same young lady where I printed the recipe cards from. I'm not entirely sure. I might be lying to you guys. Just check the description box. I'll tell you where I got everything from. But either way, um, this is a really cute, I just really love this layout and it was only $2. So that's that. And then from there, the last thing is I have another insert from Cloth and Paper. This one is made of like cardstock and it has a quote from Kobe Bryant on it. And one thing that I did that I learned from YouTube, you guys, is I actually just grabbed some scissors and I cut slits at the holes. So that way, instead of having to open up the binder rings all the time, when I want to take dashboards out and change things out, I can just like rip it out as you saw. So that's that and then the last section is just some general note taking worksheets that I ordered with a little bundle on Amazon from Filofax. I'm not even going to front. A lot of the inserts I got in this bundle I did not like. Um, they're just in my binder, my little binder folder for right now but it's pink so I just put it in here. And this paper clip 
right here. I've had this in my little uh, pen drawer for so long. I don't know where it came from. I want to say Erin Condren. Not really sure though. It's been there for years. So I just run it out with more note taking sheets because again, my personality, I just need more, like free space to write and get things down quickly. So I didn't put anything in the back side uh, just yet. Some people use this to hold like post-it notes and things like that. But I'm actually making another dashboard sometime this weekend that I'm going to use to hold post-it notes. Someone on YouTube did ask me for a dashboard making video. So I figured I would just do do that video. Um, kill two birds with one stone. So that'll be coming soon. So that was my Louis Vuitton MM Planner walkthrough for September. Let me know in the comments, what did you all think of the video? What do you think of the inserts? Would you like to see videos when I decorate my planner and change things out every month? I have to just quickly show you guys uh, one of the other little pins I got from Little Miss Daisy Rose. It's a little Ugg. How cute is that? And then one more sneak peek and then I won't show you anything else. Okay, maybe two more sneak peeks. Look at the Christmassy ones I got. Isn't that so adorable? So I'm going to do a whole other Etsy haul video for you guys. So stay tuned. But anyway, if you want more decorating videos and planner videos, let me know down in the comments. Make sure you like this video, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Bye.